student what we did in our past uh, we are trying to implement those good or as well as those things what are good good and good good to you tell me what is good so for me actually uh, i know all the fingers are not same but the thing is at least we should as a person as a human we should always strive to be better day by day so there are certain, even me as a person as a teacher i'm learning in this process so i compare myself each day so that i learn from each and everyone whether it is uh, whether even if it's uh, from the students i keep on learning from the students as well ma'am what is good to you um <coughs> that will uh, something that helps a person to move forward in life how then if a student comes to your school what is the final destination of a student in life how many of you have heard the word positive psychology pressure from the parents pressure yeah. from parents <laughs> but you are not also happy yes no yes so two unhappy people <laughs> huh? so we are so we have to two two unhappy people are coexisting what do you do to cope with the situation mm. how come new policy first of all you have to renew yourself yes. we have yes. to innovate we have no to... you have to change your thoughts first of all you have to allow yourself to change mm. allow 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 do you allow yourself to change no no you don't to because if i ask you stop uh, stop doing this thing no no my father has told me that my mother has our sanskar your culture you always do that you always do love the term called change you love it you love that i look good but i don't want to do problem is here what do you do are you feeling good about your school yes of course i am such a nice team <laughs> why why you feel good because um, uh, we are delivering what we are expected to what you are expected to uh, to bring out the best in the students so how do you measure your bestness their um, performance in the academy so where skills. where do you measure your performance in class 12 no uh, their day to day to day activities in class what Twelve. whatever whatever you know uh, activities they are in you uh, know course class scholars so, course class takes examination so how do you how do you think you are doing good they are how do you rate them good I'm, I'm depending on the teachers to give a feedback on on such things because I don't take the regular classes as such. I'll give it to the teachers. He is a principal. He is not going to fire you because I have fired you already. Come on, chalo. You. First of all, so we have to explore the child. Explore the child's thinking. Ah, so you have to be empathetic. Um, very. Empathetic. Anything you want to add? along with that what the child wants to become in life all children have their own uh, interesting point interesting subjects and we are here to guide that child in the right path means how we can facilitate that person that student from my subject and develop the skills mainly maybe at the end of the day we need to think that they are happy or not students are happy or not what we have taught or what they got from us whether they are happy with that or not happiness is important because if they are happy then they can able to explore themselves and where we are that we should help them um, i got to know uh, quite a lot of things and especially like i would try to understand each and every student as sir you have said that uh, the time limitation should not be a constraint of knowing each and every individual so on my part of uh, you know like a, a perception a change in perception in me is to you know cater to the basic needs of each and every individual as much as i can within the stipulated time which i get this is what i have received from you sir and i would like to implement the same in my class Firstly we have to redesign ourselves we are still following the age old methods of teaching so we have to throw that away inculcate something new amongst us be creative so that we can give something new to the students every day I feel so from this class I've come to learn that we should know about the aspirations of the students what makes them happy we should just let them you know express their ideas their views 
and help them uh, to foster in life. Uh, every child should feel that uh, they are a part of the society, they are going to contribute much in the society and they should uh, feel their importance. A particular child should be allowed to be creative and that creativeness uh, should come out with better problem solving and which can be carried out through design thinking. I think. Uh, from my viewpoint, uh, uh, I have learned that we should come out of our stagnation and should look upon life through a new angle of vision. So happiness, actually, in fact, I would like to say for the first time I have realized that. So one needs to be happy as a teacher, then only we can uh, like fulfill all the needs of our students. Attending your vision, I felt that the uh, most important part in our life is we have to make the students clear about why they are studying. Students are, most of the students are confused. Why to study maths? Why do I need to study science? Why social? Even as a student, I was not at all interested in social science. So nowadays it's very important to make them realize why that particular subject is interlinked with the other subject and each and every subject is important for their life, future life. Because they, they want, now the students, they want a connectivity, they want happiness. And this happiness is actually missing if we think of only one subject as a perspective. So if we can interlink it, so thank you sir, interlinking of the subject with the uh, presentation.